I slapped on the uh, top piece of the other side of the dummy. I finished the left side, now I'm going to do the right side, and I'm not even going to measure how far from the top down now, I'm just going to match the holes. So starting at this point right here, I'm going to match the hole and draw a 2 inch by 2 inch. And then here I'm going to match the center hole here and draw a 1 and 1 eighth by 2 inch hole as well as on the other side. Here's the back side of the dummy, same thing. This is the middle hole. Once again, it's 1 inch by 1 eighth by 2 inches. And here is the... Uh, from here to here is is uh, two and a quarter. So same thing here. From here to here is two and a quarter. And here to here is two inches. So this is going to be the hole there. So I don't really have to measure very hard because I just slap the other piece on top, and then I can measure it right from the these holes here so that I can uh, get this, uh, these holes to match uh, perfectly. So here it is, uh, taking it apart. Uh, this is the, uh, the right piece that I call of the dummy. This is the inside. This is the back side of the dummy. Uh, this is the front side of the dummy. This is the front side of the dummy. And this is the back side of the dummy. So eventually this will be like this, going over the top like that when I flip it over to glue it together. So that's why this looks the way it does. Uh, I put the uh, masking tape to so that I could actually see where I'm cutting. Um, and that's it. Uh, I'll start cutting. Uh, the, once again, uh, this is the uh, this hose two by two. Uh, no, this hose the back side, so it's going to be two by uh, two and a quarter. And uh, the hole over here will be two by two because that's the front. And uh, I'll repeat this process uh, once again to uh, duplicate this. It's going to pretty much look exactly the same as this piece, the way you see it right here. This is going to be uh, not cut like this here, and it's going to be cut like this at an angle. And this is reversed. This is not going to be cut on this side. It's going to be cut from here at an angle. So it's going to look almost identical except that uh, the back side which is here it's going to be a little bit bigger on this hole and then here the back side is here so that this hole is going to be a little bit a little bit bigger because this is so easy and flat what i'm going to do is to save time on chiseling i am just going to move my circular saw sideways to uh, flatten out this uh, part here so that i don't have to do so much work by just doing this. See this one is so quick and easy, it's nice and smooth. Practically no chiseling uh, necessary. Okay, now I'm ready for this. A word of caution when you're adjusting the height of the blade uh, for safety wise, always unplug your cord uh, before you uh, start handling the adjustment just for safety. And sometimes you make the wrong choice of unplugging the cord, but you've actually unplugged another cord and not the cord to the uh, circular saw. And uh, so if you want to keep all your fingers, make sure that you unplug the cord. Make sure that the cord is unplugged for your circular saw. And now I can readjust the blade. rough fit of the dummy arms on the top. This happens to be the back of the dummy, I'm just testing it. And it's very, very, very tight right now. There's a lot more sanding to go. As you will see. The inside looks like that. 
one hole goes out in this side and comes out the other side and then that hole goes from this side and comes out the other side it's really funny looking but that's the way it goes and that's the center hole okay so um, this here is the front side of the dummy and here is the inside of the dummy that's going to be sandwiched together this is the outside and this is the front here you would see one of the holes for the arm and uh, what I like to do is since I cannot really do a nice clean job here and cut a straight line because originally as you can see here it um, it's at an angle so it's very hard to cut with a with a saw because this goes down at an angle and on top of that it, it, it graduates from from a uh, uh, angle here where it is not cutting into the wood and it goes uh, deeper and then to the other end that cuts into the wood so it's really hard to get this nice and flat um, when I start uh, filing, uh, usually it's, it bows out and then uh, this part is cut well but in the middle it kind of bows out and it's going to take a long time to file. So to get this completely straight and nice and clean, uh, it's best if I use uh, some kind of power tools. So I devised this uh, method here where I took those triangles one here and one here, I put them at the bottom and then I place the shims to make the height that I need since you can see that this now is sitting at an angle this is raised from the table sitting at an angle so now when you look at it, this here is a horizontal completely horizontal because I raised this part to make this angle horizontal and then I put two pieces of wood on top and now to level this off I just put some scrap pieces on the other side so this is all scrap wood there that I, well not scrap wood but uh, wood that I put on top and then uh, just to finally uh, tune the, the correct height I've uh, just uh, put some uh, magazines here Now with the boards taken off, I've done uh, this side and it uh, seems to be pretty straight uh, looking now that it's uh, been cut like this over. It's not bad now, it doesn't seem to bow out that badly. So I'm going to go and try to fix this side. So uh, this is 2 inches fine, 2 by 2. Uh, this one here is going to be two by two and a quarter, or maybe two and three eighths, depending. So now, instead of this die being raised, I will have to go and raise uh, this side. Here's the, here's the test fit, it's almost there, it wiggles a little bit, it's not too bad, this one, I prefer to wiggle just a little bit more, since this is going to be uh, one and uh, three quarters, um, the 
it's just one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And this is two. Two by two. So this is working fine. Uh, just got to sand it a little bit more. This one, however, is a little bit too snug. If you could see, it doesn't wiggle at all. So that means that the lower hole, I have to sand a little bit more or cut a little bit more to make the hole bigger. Uh, and the back is bigger, obviously. Um, now, I understand you don't have the arms yet because I already have the arm. So um, you uh, could always just cut a rough piece of wood that is one and three quarters by one and three quarters, three quarters to test fit it. So here you can see that it's a little bit, should be a little bit bigger, but it doesn't wiggle here. So here it wiggles a little bit, and here it doesn't, so this hole needs more sanding. This is getting there, this is not enough. It's a little bit more sanding here, but a lot more sanding here for this hole. So, this is how much it should wiggle. This much. It's about one and a quarter inch. If you look here. About one and a quarter inch it wiggles. I used tiles because uh, my saw wasn't deep enough to cut down. Uh, when I used a piece of wood like this it would have been too high to cut down so I had to use tiles because they're perfectly straight and they're thin. And now um, you have to really go very fine and repeat this process. Um, my measurements it's off by just half a millimeter so that the I need to clean this up by just half a millimeter. You're getting really, really, really fine measurements now that you got to really go slow and repeat this process several times and then put the two halves back together, stick the dummy arm in to check if it's good or not. And this is a very, very time consuming and delicate uh, cutting with a very big circular saw so that uh, if you take your time here because the angle of the two holes have to be done correctly so that the angles is right so that it will wiggle and jiggle the arms left and right just the right amount okay this seems to be okay for now as i put this there's this much play that seems to be correct and then when I put the same one on the other hole there seems to be the exact same amount of play the word is the exact same amount from the top hole and the bottom hole you don't want one hole to wiggle more than the other hole so this is the amount and this is the amount I seated the pants, it looks to be somewhat correct. This is the amount here, and this is the amount there. It seems that the top hole kind of wiggles slightly more. And then to show you the back, as you can see, the back is a bigger hole. That seems to look good.